This has been the reason why the Boko Haram and the bandits become unending situation because the system of APC has frustrated young Nigerians to become a criminal. It is on this pedestal we felt as young people we need to help our leaders to understand that the PDP remain the only hope of the common masses. Since the birth of this accidental government that have rolled to power through propaganda and deception, it is no longer available for Nigerian youth to be given a chance to even apply a federal government job. It has now become a replacement when we're supposed to have a recruitment where capacity will be tested and employment will be offered based on capacity. This has been one of the major reasons the internet fraudulent young people are increasing on a daily basis. Ahead of the 2023 election, the People's Democratic Party National Youth Movement has on Saturday inaugurated its National Executive Council in Abuja. The president of the movement, Comrade Salahuddin Lukman, aired out his opinion of youth being seen as political machineries for election process. As young people who have tactically reduced to a machinery and tools in political process, it is so disturbing that young people in this great nation, under whatever guise, has been reduced to only machineries to be used for electionary process why they are considered not fit, not experienced, or not worthy to hold a leadership position in this great nation. We believe a certain sentiment has been established against the young people of this great nation. And this is a cause by artificial problem created by our past leaders. They have made it so difficult for people to have a job after graduation in this country today. Having first class is no longer a criteria to secure a job. But in this great nation, people who have been confirmed to be a killer, who have been confirmed to be a kidnapper, are those the government of the day are considered for a special pardon. And they are being rehabilitated into the society. What a misplacement of priority. Nigerian people have mistakenly elected a government that does not have respect for the masses. Even the policy is made, and Nigerians cry in their numbers. It seems to be they are crying to a deaf man. It is a government that can wake up and raise army against our citizens. This is a government that openly denied that it has never killed Nigerian youth when they decided to demand for reform of Nigerian police force, who have become another criminal in uniform, that mess citizen, extort citizen, and made life frustrating for young people. He also appealed to the leaders of the party to continue to sustain the respect it has for the youth. We are appealing to our leaders to please continue to sustain this uncommon respect for young people in this party. And we can assure them that youth being, the Nigerian youth too, will never disappoint them. At appropriate time, we shall be communicating other observations and other recommendations we believe will make us to go to the poll come 2023 to rescue and rebuild Nigeria.
that is fast developing this country. The old order must give way for the new order. Change is inevitable. The only option we have as leaders is whether we are ready to rewrite and direct the ship or what we push aside completely. Dokas or Larry Waju, Voice TV, Nigeria.